Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the difference between static stretching and dynamic stretching. In my last video, I mentioned that it was really important to add stretching to your daily routine, and that's for anybody, whether you're really active or if you're sedentary. We're gonna talk about the pros, the cons, and some tips for each type of stretch. Okay, so our first type of stretch is static stretching. This is a stretch where you hold still in a position and put a comfortable pressure on that muscle to elongate. You also hold these types of stretches for a longer period of time. I usually aim for 30 to 60 seconds. So a few of the pros for static stretching is that it has long-term benefits for your flexibility and your range of motion. It can also help correct muscular imbalances. Static stretching is also really good for muscle recovery after your workout, helping you be less sore the next day or two afterwards. A few of the cons of static stretching is one, it doesn't warm up your muscles before activity. It can also increase instability in your muscles or joints because the muscles have been stretched and we're overstretched so the muscle fibers are staying elongated. That can make you vulnerable to injury or sprains. Also, because of this effect of the muscle staying elongated, it can affect your performance negatively. It could end up decreasing your muscle speed and reaction time. A few tips with static stretching. Feeling a little discomfort in a stretch is okay, but if it becomes pain or you're feeling sharp pain, definitely just stop and lessen the depth of the stretch. Also, never bounce when you're trying to get into a deeper stretch. It's better to just hold the stretch and have calm breathing and hold it for 30, 60 seconds. And then after that time period, see if you can push a little further. And if you can, hold it there and calmly just breathe in and out and count another 30 to 60 seconds. When you get into really deep stretching and you're really working to progress your flexibility, if you start bouncing, then you put yourself at risk of a tear. Static stretches are best done after your activity. So if you've done your training or your workout, afterwards when you do your cool down, that's the best time to do static stretches. If you're not gonna do any activity and you're just going to be doing some flexibility work and you're just working on static stretches in general, then make sure to do a light warm up first to get your muscles warm. You can do something like just jogging in place or jumping jacks, anything to just get your body moving and warm up your muscles before you start doing static stretches. Okay, so that brings us to our second type of stretching that we want to talk about in this video, and that's dynamic stretching. This is when you do a repeated controlled motion to stretch that muscle group. Some pros of dynamic stretching is that it warms up your body temperature, it increases your heart rate and your blood flow. So it's really good for warming up your muscles. These type of stretches also help with the speed of your nerve impulses. Dynamic stretching also helps increase your range of motion before activity. A couple cons of a dynamic stretch is that if you do it carelessly or you don't have a lot of control over the repetitive movement and motion, you can cause yourself injury or muscle and joint pain. It's also not quite as effective as static stretching at increasing your flexibility over time. It's really important to remember not to be too vigorous with your dynamic stretches. Especially if you're a beginner, if you're trying new stretches, or if you're recovering from injury. For dynamic stretching, control is key. It's also important to try to remember not to go for the highest, most flexible range um, when you first start the stretch and just work your way up to that flexibility. Start yourself off with your motions that are in the minimum range, bring them up to medium, and then go to your maximum. So work yourself up into your maximum flexibility and also remember that control is always key. Since dynamic stretching is really great at warming up the muscles and getting you prepared for your activity, this is the type of stretch that you wanna do before activity. So both static and dynamic stretches are both great and it's really important to do both of them. But it's always a good idea to do your dynamic stretching before activity and your static stretching afterwards. This is gonna help you increase your mobility, increase your flexibility, and also help you prevent possible injury. I'll be doing more videos on stretching, sharing my routines and some more tips, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I post weekly lifestyle videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. Cheers.